Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we'll be seeing about moving bubble charts. So on LinkedIn you must have seen this post of uh, a circular kind of a, a bubble chart and where the bubbles are moving from one point to the another and generally it is used for time series data sets okay and it's a very viral post on LinkedIn where um, uh, one bubble is moving from one point to another and uh, in a very beautiful animated visualization way you can see that how a certain activity happened uh, over a period of time okay now let's say if you want to recreate that chart okay so we will be doing that in this video okay generally pe uh, people use matplotlib seaborn for data visualization uh, but when it comes to animated uh, visualization i feel uh, d3 blocks uh, is is having an edge over uh, these two guys okay so what we'll be doing is we'll, uh, we'll be taking help of d3 blocks okay and we'll be creating the visualization okay so here i've just opened collab and uh, uh, installed the library d3 blocks okay so it is imported into my user local lib python uh, 3.10 uh, i'll say folder okay uh, now here I have just imported some libraries for uh, debugging purposes. Okay, here I was here I was seeing how the data set looks and all. Okay, and here in the first in the in, in the first sentence you are just loading the uh, library. Here you are creating its object. Here then you are uh, loading a sample data set. Okay, so for creating such uh, moving bubble charts, you need a time series data set. Okay, and here we will be. Uh, creating that data set okay so how this data set is created and and how it is will be going into depth of that later and finally with the help of d3 dot moving bubbles you can decide the speed of the bubbles and you will be getting an html file uh, html file which you can open in browser and there you can see the beautiful visualization okay so should we first see the data set i think yes we should first see the data set that how the data set is and how well, like what exactly these parameters are okay so this is how the data set is okay so it's a date time sample id state data set okay you have different states work sick eating okay and uh, then you have sample ids and date time okay this is a randomly created data set this is not a uh, curated data set which is being imported by d3 this is a randomly uh, created data set hence the name random time okay uh, uh, there are some curated data sets also which you can uh, import with the help of import examples uh, there are uh, data sets of climate and others which you can uh, do it and uh, create a mo uh, moving bubble chart uh, there itself okay now um, so uh, like when i when i was searching at whether this data set is really random okay so i did google and i searched for d3 dot import examples but there was no proper link to explain like what exactly that function is doing i i even took help of chat gpt but it was not giving an answer to depth so what i did was i went into the code and i saw that how exactly this random time is operating like 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 is it a uh, already curated data set or is it a data set with which it is creating by itself or is it totally random okay because i thought that it is not totally random because of the different states we have okay so i thought that there must be some pattern here like after work you will be doing this that that this that that okay so i thought that there must be a pattern okay so and for uh, understanding that whether there, uh, there's a pattern in this data set or it is entirely random i went to the file okay so we we will also go there okay so we'll see where a d3 blocks is installed okay so as you can see that d3 blocks is installed in user local lib python 3.10 folder okay so here we'll be going into deep uh first we have to go to local sorry user then uh local uh then lib okay in lib you have python 3.10 okay and in then in distinct packages okay so here you have all the packages which gets installed when you do a pip install and here we want d3 blocks so this is where my d3 blocks is as you can see that it installed d3 blocks 1.3.3 it also installed d3 graphs and other things okay but we are more concerned about d3 blocks why because 
in this d3 block itself you are your work of move, uh, moving bubble charts is going executed as you can see that from d3 blocks folder only it is importing d3 blocks okay so in this folder okay so in this folder from this file d3 blocks.py it is calling this function import uh, example and also moving bubbles okay so i'll be opening uh, i'll be opening this file okay so now here in this d3 blocks.py it is calling this function moving bubbles okay So where is moving bubbles now? It also has Sankey, a Sankey graph. Okay, Sankey graph is a also very uh, wonderful where uh, there's a, uh, some kind of a stock data. When is the stock data and you want to see the flow of the data at that time, Sankey graphs are much helpful. Okay, so this is it is uh, there we have the function moving bubbles which is being called here. Okay and it is also calling import examples okay so we also want import examples we are currently seeing the data set thing like whether it is entirely random or there is any pattern in it okay so yeah, i think it's a good way to go deep into the library okay and uh, there you get a very good understanding like what exactly is happening in the code okay so i Let's go to import examples. Where is import examples? Yes, here you have import examples. Okay. And here in this import example, we can see that <coughs> here it has some uh, example data sets. Okay. So it also has some data set name moving bubbles. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it has examples like Big Bang, Climate, MNIST. Okay. So MNIST is a already curated data set. Okay even in big bang also it's already curated data set okay now here what it does is it is returning uh hyphen i want to say hyphen underscore uh, underscore import examples here now let's go into this underscore import example and here we can see that whenever the data set selected is random time that is exactly what is happening here you are selecting a data set random time what it is doing is it is calling generate data with random date time function from the moving bubbles python file okay as you can see that whenever that it's selected random time this is what exactly is happening so we'll see whether it is entirely random or how now let's go to moving bubbles so here in moving bubbles you can see that you have that moving bubbles dot py file okay and here you will have the generate data function so where is the generate data function yes this was the function which is being called okay whenever you are calling this function maybe we will also try to understand what exactly nnc is okay so n is the number of rows uh, in the data set it, it contains 10,000 rows and c here is the number of unique classes okay so what it does is you you, you, you get a column named sample id here okay and the unique entries in the sample ID means C. Okay, so what it does is for his unique class, it is creating states. It's exactly what is happening here. Okay, if you if you didn't pass the uh, date start top time, uh, these are the default values which it gets. Okay, and here you have some location types that is these are the states. Okay, home, hospital, bed, sports, sleeping, sick, work, eating, and bored. Okay, now I want to show you one thing here. In this state, in this work, uh, in this state, you can see that there's a state named travel. Okay. And in this location list, you cannot see travel here. Okay. So what is happening here uh, exactly is for each sam for each, uh, I'll say, uh, for each sample ID, it is trying to create three states. For each specific sample, it is trying to create three states. One is start state, travel state, and the end state. Okay. And in the start state, travel state and end state, what is happening is the start state is selected randomly on the basis of this predefined probabilities in the location types. Okay. This travel state is nothing but the travel state itself. It gets included there between and then the end state also gets picked randomly on the basis of the 
probabilities so what happens is for every specific sample okay three mandatory states will definitely be there for that means that for each sample id we will be having three states minimum for sure okay so it, that's fine okay now we have sample ids and your states but is there a sequence or a pattern there the answer to the question is no because it is randomly selecting the date time year okay because it's randomly selecting the date time year there is no sequence like after this there's this state then this state then this state then this state okay but it it, it has tried to create three states for each sample id okay now this is uh, this was the understanding of the data set and and and, and even for me it took me a time because the first thing which i did was search on google i didn't found anything and even on the documentation page of d3 blocks it was not much clear so what i did was i did i went depth i saw whether there's any unique pattern in it and then i went to the code and I understood that there is no significant pattern here but the only thing it is trying to do is it is made sure mandatory that for each sample id we have three states okay okay yeah because this is a very uh, why why this was necessary the question is why is this uh, this was necessary because when you will be trying to interpret the moving bubbles or html at that time it should make sense right because if there was a sequence the sequence should be visible on the html uh, output but for me that sequence was not being visible so that's why i went into depth and this was what my conclusion that there is no sequential sequential pattern here okay okay now what we'll be doing is we will be running this file let's say if it's already present i think it should not be there uh we'll just save our time maybe i'll just parallelly run it also okay uh and temp uh, okay let's see do we have that html file temp no we have d3 blocks now it should be there okay now let's download this maybe okay and it's downloaded and let's open it boom you have your moving bubble charts okay now with every second you can see what activities were happening okay okay and this is all on the basis of the probabilities which were predefined in the random time data set okay yeah so here you, you can decide your speed whether it's slow medium fast okay and here you can also decide the color method now currently it is doing on the basis of state you can decide on sample id as well okay now this is what the sample id is okay Okay, so this was all about it, like how to create a moving uh, bubble chart. Okay, although there is no significant pattern in this in the sequence of thing, but I feel that if the data set is properly curated, and if you have a proper data set, so it will be a very beautiful visualization where with every time you can see that what exactly is happening. Okay, okay. so that's it with this, guys. If you find anything useful. Uh, give it a thumbs up stay tuned to as and uh, do check other uh, other videos okay yeah that's it take care peace out